and welcome back to the channel fragrance journey hopefully everybody's having a blessed day hopefully everybody's having a really blessed weekend today we're going to be speaking about a house i discovered earlier this year it's the house of chapel factory i have holy stick from that line i do want the other two fragrances i think it's baptisma and there's another one that i really want to get uh but you only got so much money so they're on my list to get holy stick is a beautiful incense woody type fragrance one of the best incense fragrance I've smelled, uh, but again, my journey has been short. I haven't smelled um, too many fragrances, so I'm sure there's some incenses out there, incense fragrances out there I need to get my nose on. These fragrances were created by the wonderful, wonderful perfumer, Anise Beguin. I think she's a French perfumer. She's done work for other perfume houses. I guess this is her line. It is sold at Bloom and Javoy Paris, and ZGL Perfumery has the fragrances also. I will leave a link to all of those places where you can pick this fragrance and her other fragrances up <clears throat> in the uh, description box. The fragrance we're gonna be talking about today is Pyrolux. And this is a fragrance, when I first saw the notes, I didn't know if I was gonna like it because it features the note of Umbroxan. When I think of Umbrox and I think of Dior Sauvage, that's the first thing that comes to my mind. Crazy as that sounds, as soon as I think about Umbrox and I think about Dior Sauvage. And that's a fragrance that I cannot stand. I'm sorry, I know people really love that fragrance, but that's one that I do not enjoy at all. Uh, it just smells kind of kitty, kind of childish, loud, uh, obnoxious. <clears throat> so that's one I don't enjoy. But this one to me does the Embroxin really well. Um, it features notes of pepper, cedarwood, jasmine, sandalwood, amber, Embroxin, patchouli, and white musk. Again, that's Chapel Factory Pure Lux. The opening of this one has a little bit of spice to it. It does have a very vibrant, fresh opening. Uh, this is a fragrance I think that you can probably wear every day. I think it has that everyday daily driver type vibe to it. I think you can rock this in any occasion, to church, to work, to school, out on a date, out to eat, wherever you want to wear it, I think this can be pulled off. Um, you instantly get some woody notes. Uh, you got a beautiful cedar wood note. You've also got an amazing sandalwood note uh, that comes off a little bit creamy. You've also got some amber, which I don't really get much of the amber. Uh, and I do get hints of the patchouli because it does have hints of greenness, but not a lot. And then you get that fresh, clean white musk. <clears throat> Just listening to those notes, like I said, you can almost wear this all the time. And you can get this bottle for 106 US dollars. I think you can get it for like 110 from ZGL Perfumery, to be honest. So it's actually cheaper, cheaper than Dior Sauvage is being sold at Macy's. Is that not crazy? But, um, I think this is a daily driver. I think this is safe. This is something that you can wear whenever you want. It's a beautiful take on sandalwood. And I think that's one thing she does is she takes one note and she features it and she does a really amazing job of uh, bringing all the high quality and greatness out of that one note. So definitely if you get a chance to stop by any of the places I'm gonna leave down in the description box, maybe you can get samples of this and check her line out, Chapel Factory. I think it's an amazing line, definitely underrated. I haven't seen anybody review any of her fragrances on YouTube except for me, so that's a good thing too. I like to keep it like that. But um, Future Journey really enjoys Holy Stick. I haven't let them smell the other two samples that I have, but um, definitely, definitely check check um, check them out. Just give them a whiff, get some samples, see if you like them. If you like them, definitely pick up a bottle. If you don't, that's cool too. But if you can, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. If you woke up today, you're definitely winning. If you've gotten your nose on anything from the house of Chapel Factory, leave a comment down below. Tell me if you like it. Tell me if you don't. Tell me if you're interested. Tell me if you're not. Again, if you woke up today, you're definitely winning. If you can't like, subscribe, hit that notification bell too. I'm going to be doing a lot, a lot of videos. Hopefully, Future Journey will be back. He's in Dallas or somewhere uh, hanging out doing his thing. So, so I appreciate all the support, and we out. Peace.